Hello, I'm Dr. Alison Bendikirko, naturopathic physician with SIBO Canada. I just want to do a brief explanation on what you can expect when you get your SIBO test kit. So it'll come with a box. You'll have your return shipping label right on the box. It'll be ready to be shipped back to us. And inside will be all of the stuff you need uh, to do your SIBO test. So this is what you're going to find within the box. You're going to have a mouthpiece. 10 testing tubes that will be wrapped in bubble wrap. You'll have your intake form. You'll have your instructions on what you need to be avoiding before the test, helpful hints, um, meal suggestions, and some important things to know, as well as step-by-step uh, -step information on how to do the test. You'll have extra bubble wrap to wrap your tubes in once you're completed. And then you'll have your substrate, which will be either glucose like this one, lactulose or fructose, whichever your doctor recommends. And then you'll just have to have a glass of water ready. All right, so when you're ready to do the test, we wanna make sure that you've filled out your intake form. So we need your last name, your first name, date of birth and phone number your referring doctor and the referring clinic name. The part down here, um, make sure this white area here that you leave for the lab to fill out, um, but you just need to put in your collection time. So the first one you're gonna do is gonna be a baseline test. And with the baseline test, you'll have your test tubes all laid out um, and it'll say name, clinic, number. So you'll put a B there for baseline and the date that you're doing the test. To do the baseline test, you're gonna use your mouthpiece. You're just gonna breathe normally. So this is the mistake that most patients make if they're gonna get an error, is they're breathing too hard. So I'm breathing normally the entire time I do the test. I put it onto the needle, which is covered in rubber, and please leave the rubber on the needle so you don't injure yourself um, into the test tube. Start breathing out normally for two seconds. Attach the tube breathe for one to two seconds and then release the tube while you're still breathing normally. That test tube is now complete. So I'm gonna put it over to the side. At this time, you're gonna put your substrate into your water, drink the water immediately, and then wait 20 minutes to do your next tube. So after you've finished breathing into your last tube, so you do 20 minutes, weight intervals between each of your tubes. So after you finish your last tube, you'll have two extra uh, bubble wrap kits. So put five in each. Make sure they are labeled correctly. And the most important thing is that you have your name, the date, as well as the number of the tube that you're doing for the lab. So those go back into the box. We also need your intake form there to go back into the box. The rest of the stuff can be disposed of and the box is ready for shipping.